The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, has urged the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, to rescind its decision to ban the sale of alcoholic beverages in sachets and pet bottles less than 200 ml. Rising from a press briefing in Lagos, the DG of MAN, Shegu Ajay Kandari, flanked by CEOs of some distilling companies, says the regulator should rather consider access control. Details in this report. The combined forces of the Food, Beverage and Tobacco Senior Staff Association and the National Union of Food, Beverages and Tobacco Employees combined their voices to NAFDAQ's recent ban. They say this regulatory measure places approximately 500,000 jobs at risk. They are received by the Director General of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MEN, who says the association has their interest at heart. At this conference, senior members of the unions as well as journalists patiently wait to be briefed. My union is uh, chairman and the CEO of a member company. The man DG arrives and heads straight to business. Shago Ajay Kadri goes down memory lane on the memorandum of association reached between the regulator and the key stakeholders years ago. The man DJ, who says the association is mindful about the health of children and responsible drinking, is however concerned that adequate consideration was not given before the outright ban, as it negates the current administration's renewed hope agenda. He speaks alongside the association of distillers and blenders. Both policy will amount to unnecessary and avoidable debilitation of the business of local and indigenous investors who through thick and thin have kept faith with the Nigerian economy. They have continued to invest and reinvest at enormous cost in the economy and in the Nigerian people, who are the bulk of the nearly 500,000 people workforce. We are convinced that this present administration's renewed hope agenda will not be best served with this ban. If the administration is committed to encouraging and strengthening local investors, then this ban should give a way to access control. What is happening is there's a group out there that is putting pressure on the individual of NAFTA to sustain their business. And that is what is going on. So we should know that uh, most players in our sectors are indigenous players. The multinationals want to take over our business. <laughs> And that is the strategy. But by the grace of God, I will not. Key players, including chief executives of distilling companies, also share concerns of how it will also affect the entire value chain and not just the direct workers involved. The issue is uh, the ban imposed on subjects and small pet photo sizes by NAMDAC. And according to NANDA, the reason is to protect the underage from drinking alcohol. An average bottle of beer in Nigeria is 600 ml, yes. right? Glass bottle. And an average bottle of beer in Nigeria has 5% alcohol volume. So if you do the simple math, 600 ml times 5% is 30 ml of pure alcohol. Okay? So when you have a bottle of beer, you are consuming 30 ml of pure alcohol. Now let's take the sachet. The smallest sachet available today in the country is 30 ml. And sachets, spirits, let's say gin or whiskey is 40%. People see the percentage, they don't see the content. But if you multiply 30 ml by 40%, it gives you 12 ml of pure alcohol. So simple maths, one bottle of beer is equal to two and a half or three sachets. So if you want to ban sachets, why don't you ban beer? If the banning is sustained, we know how many people that will lose their job. In every household, every worker, at least feeding at least five people, and look at the 500 
thousand that are direct workers of this distilleries company, multiply it by five average, and also look at all these vendors that are doing the packaging materials, those who are doing laminates, those who are doing cartons, those who are doing gift boxes, See how many people that are going to lose their job. In all, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria seeks collaborative effort to discourage underage drinking and encourage responsible drinking by adults and also the need for access control as it expects a reversal of the ban. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.